Yeah. Thank you very much. Yeah. Well, so, yeah. For uh, for a few things, this this season is probably the the most uh, emotional one in my career. So I felt that I did everything right to have my chance here. So you know, you play one match against one of the the best players of the the history, like this Novak, and uh, number one in the world. In probably his favorite surprise, so I know I have to be almost perfect to to win. I say the other day here, and um, means a lot for me have this trophy for me today with me today. No? It's, it's just amazing. Very very happy, and just thank you very much, everybody who who helped me to to make that possible. Was it's a really special moment for me, and many thanks, everybody, all the fans, and all the team, all the family. Thank you. Willie, what are your thoughts on how you were able to win the third set? <laughs> it was a really, really important set, and it was a, a really special one. Yeah. I started so so the first game, but the end of the second, beginning of the third, Novak was playing just amazing. And uh, when Novak plays that level, I am not sure if nobody can stop him. I know that it was really important stays only one be one break behind. If if I lose the second break, so then it's, it's over the, the the third set. So I try to be to be there, keep fighting for every ball, and try to be focused in every moment. And try to wait for my moment. So, if I know if I am only one break behind, I will have my chance. The normal thing is I will have my chance. Then you can convert or not. But I did. But even like this, then I had that low 40. That was really, really amazing. I played an ace. I played an unbelievable 400 down the line and a long point. So, it was one of the, you know, key moments of the of that match. And then for sure that that break in the next game. Okay, Kaz. Robert, you were away from the game for over six months. How hungry were you to feel this again? <laughs> I was not that hungry because I, I never thought that something like this could happen. So <laughs> I just was excited to, to be back on tour, trying to be competitive, but never thought about uh, about competing for for all what I competed this year, no? all the Master Stars, two Grand Slams, so three. So it's just uh, more than a dream for me, and very happy for everything. So I feel very lucky about what happened since I came back. It's true that I work it, but even like this, I I have you, you need you need luck to to be where I am today. So. Hungry or not, it's still a good taste. Sorry? Sorry? I say hungry or not, it's still a good taste. <laughs> sure. Jason? Better impossible. Uh, Rafael, I can't see you past this lamp here. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, what do you think about the fact that you had the opportunity to You won this tournament before. How would you say, you know, would you say your game has changed and evolved? And, and how has it changed since the last time you won this it's, yeah, I, it's always the same. When somebody w is winning, you, know, you need to write, and the people think that something changed. But the real thing is, I'm playing well. <laughs> that's that's all, no. And because I'm playing well, I am able to to keep being competitive and keep having chances to to win against everybody. It's true that I am playing a little bit more aggressive than before, more inside the. the the court, closer to the baseline, going more for the points. But all this is possible because I am playing well and I am confident. No, he's talking about a big change. I don't see. It. I really cannot see a big change on, on, on my game. Just confident, you know, playing with big passion, fighting for every ball, emotionally, 
good so that makes uh, that success the only change that I can tell you is is too that I'm playing more inside and more aggressive and with the right determination but for the rest everything is as usual Thank you. Um, 13 slams. And today you had the entire arena of 23,000 rooting for you. Around the world, millions of people love you. So what, what do you think makes you special as a man? What, what do you, why do you think this is happening? Why do you think so many people are attracted to you? I am not the right one to answer that question. <laughs> Probably because <laughs> the only thing that I can say is I try to be fair, I try to be correct with everybody, I try to be friendly with the most of, with you know, with everybody, and that's all. No, I think I on court I am a positive player and not a negative player. I try my best in every moment, even the things are not going well or I go I are going well. I don't, I am not never very sad <laughs> or me, very you know doing a, a negative uh, attitude on on court and outside of the court i try to sign everybody i try to make the photos and just i act like a normal person <laughs> and you so pride that you again and again you advance your game is that something that gives you great pride Robert? at the end it's always the same when when you win, you know, that's very important. That makes me happy, this trophy, yes. But what really makes me happy is what I did to have this trophy with me. So that's what really produced me, these emotional moments and working hard in, in tough moments, um, trying to, to be positive. A lot of people have been with me during this, this period of time and it was not an easy moment. And because of them, a lot of days I was able to keep working because at the end when you go to the gym every day and you don't see a positive result, then you, you lose a little bit your your energy and you have, if, if I have that people around me during this period of time was decisive on keep working hard, that everybody, they give me that positive energy and uh, Without them, it would be impossible to have the chance to be here today. And all the, all the fans, too, that really supported me a lot during this, this period of time, of time was very important for me. Yeah. Rafa, with 13 of those major trophies, I think you're on the trail, Pete and Roger now on the all-time list. Can you give us a sense for what that means to you? And you know, can you anticipate catching those guys in the early 27? Let me enjoy today. <laughs> and uh, for me, it's much more than what I ever thought. What I ever dreamed, I said that few slams when I had the few slams less, <laughs> but it's, it's true. So it means a lot this one for me, and um, I will. The only thing that I can say is the same like than I did. I the same that I do every time is I gonna keep working hard. I gonna I gonna keep doing my things to have more chances in the future to be competitive and to give me to produce more chances to to win the tournaments like this one. So that's what they're gonna try and then you never know when that start, when that finish, but thirteen is an amazing number. <laughs> But everybody until last year was considering you mostly the greatest play court specials. For you, that was a sort of limit. Where, where you, I mean, were you proud, of course, to have won eight Roland Garros or whatever? But <laughs> <laughs> it, it, it's, uh, it's uh, something different now because you are proving everyone that you are the greatest or one of the greatest also on our court. Does it make a difference for you? No. No, I, I, I know I was a good player on hard before, five, six hours before. <laughs> that's, that doesn't make a big difference on, on my career being better player or worse player. Then it's a match. You win, you lose. <laughs> then 
the people who who I well I understand most of the people say I am a, a, yeah clay court specialist but it's true because I I won a lot of tournaments on clay and because I won that much on clay seems like the other things are less but I was able to play five finals in Wimbledon I think five yeah <laughs> I was able to play three finals in the US Open was able to play two finals in in Australian Open to win I don't know is three Indian Wells something like this three Canadian Open but you were never an unbeaten on Arco like this year <laughs> don't worry I will lose <laughs> <laughs> That's everybody looks. <laughs> um, there was a 54-point rally in the second set. Um, what was going through your head during that rally, and were you concerned when you were broken that it might mean something wrong? <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> I, I felt really tired after that point. <laughs> but I said I have the wind on my favor now. I lose that game even I had the wind of my favor. So after this point, the opponent will be tired too. So it's my moment to be strong and I'm going to have the chance to be break back. That's what I think in that moment. I need to, to play with the higher concentration and give my best in that first few points of that game. And I will have the chance to, to break back. Uh, and I did. <laughs> I had to break back. And then I have 40-15 in that ga in the next game to to equal the set for all, but Novak played amazing and he break me an all time. So that's all. But my 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 thinking was positive. I I had the break now, but I, I will have my chance in the next game. It's not a strategy to play the break points. It's a feeling of of that moment, and it's a little bit of intuition of of that situation. And is play with the right determination and choose the the right option. So it's not a strategy, in my opinion. And against Novak, you cannot have a bigger strategy with the serve because I am not Isner. And I will not win that three points. And Novak is probably the best return. He has the best return on on tour. One of the best that I ever saw. So it's difficult to to make the right decision when you have in front a player that is able to return very aggressive, very long, and he was able to return winners from from every play. So. It's difficult. I was lucky some moments. That's it. Okay, Ben. Also, with your problems with your knees for this season, you're talking about how the hard court affected your knees more than other surfaces. So, yet, so you had the best ever year of your career on hard court this year after all the problems. I'm just wondering, did something change in your strategy on hard court or your attitude on hard court to make that possible? It seems on paper it's very surprising. I think I answered that. Just a few questions before, but it's a really similar thing. I think nothing in particular changed. I I am playing well, that's the most important thing, and I am playing more aggressive than before. Because, but but I am able to play more more aggressive than before because I am playing well. I am playing with confidence. If you are not with confidence and you are not playing well, it's very difficult to play aggressive. Mentality was always positive. For me, my mentality to play on hard, I never was negative to play on hard. It's, it's, that's, even if I had that success, that, that uh, my, my thinking is not different. Hard court is, is very aggressive for the body. <laughs>